Hello, I'm Meredith Tillo, and I'm one of the school counselors at Coleraine High School. I'm here today with Ms. Hosley, and she and I will be presenting about our junior students taking the ACT and, and giving some information about what to expect, what to bring, where to go, um, and, and lots of information about the ACT test as well. So the ACT is a National College ad Admissions Test. Um, they, the results are accepted by all four-year colleges and universities in the United States. They test on four different subjects, English, math, reading, science, and then there is an optional writing. For our March 9th ACT, we will not be offering the writing, but that is something that you can sign up for on your own. Um, the ACT test does include 215 multiple choice questions. It does take about three and a half hours to complete. Um, and what the test measures is a student's college readiness and ability to be successful in college level courses. On March 9th, during the school day, we will be offering the ACT to all of our juniors for free. Um, juniors are the only students that will be in the building that day. It is designed for our juniors to take that test. Um, all the four sections, the English, Math, Science, and Social, um, and Reading, um, Students are, this is a real legitimate ACT test, so students are able to send um, colleges or the NCAA their scores if they choose to send it to colleges uh, on the day of, then they can send them for free. If you decide later that you want to add different colleges, then there is a cost. Um, what is new and different this year is we will be taking the ACT online. So students need to make sure and bring their Chromebook. Um, you have to uh, enter on time. Testing will begin around 8 a.m. So students should be in the building by 7.45. Um, we do encourage you to bring a calculator and a student ID, just like you would on a regular ACT test day. And then students will be dismissed for the day around 1 p.m after testing has completed. Part of the ACT test is the My ACT information. Um, students will need to fill this out after you test on March 9th. Um, it does take about 30 extra minutes to complete, but it, it will help students to be able to send their scores at a later date. Um, it helps students to, that is the time where they send the four colleges where they want to send their scores. Um, students will also need to know your mailing address, including your zip code, um, and the numbers, the codes for the four colleges where you want your scores sent. Students will not be able to access their cell phones at all during testing, so that is information that they need to have written down or know ahead of time. So the test, as I said, will be four sections. The English test is 75 questions. Students have 45 minutes to complete it. Um, they mostly go over grammar, mechanics, and sentence structure. The math test is 60 questions, um, and it's 60 minutes. You can use a calculator for the entire math section, but it is recommended that you bring your own calculator. Um, the reading test is 40 questions for 35 minutes. There's four different passages that students have to read and then answer questions. Um, and then the science test is 40 questions with 35 minutes. Um, and there's seven passages and students will have to interpret graphs and charts and data um, for the science test. I am now going to um, 
have Ms. Hosley present on the scoring of the ACT. The scoring, the score ranges for the ACT are from a 1 to a 36. So the highest score that you could get on the ACT is a 36. The composite score is the average of your four test scores rounded to the nearest whole number. Many students ask, what is a good score? Well, each test has a score that colleges use as benchmarks for college readiness. Achieving these scores means you will not have to take remedial courses in college, and it's an indicator for college, colleges to let them know that you are ready for college-level courses. Um, many schools use higher ACT scores to help determine which students qualify for their scholarships. So the benchmarks that colleges use to determine college readiness include an English composition score of an 18. So that means if a student scores an 18 on their ACT benchmark, that means that they are ready to take college level English courses. Math is a determination for college algebra and that is a 22. The reading test is a determination for social sciences courses and it is a 22. And then science is an indicator for college biology and that benchmark is a 23. So when students ask what is a good score, you are looking to score an 18 on English, a 22 on math, a 22 in reading, and a 23 in science to show that you're ready for college level coursework. So how will Coleraine use my ACT score? So AT ACT scores are added to your high school transcripts and we send those scores to colleges when you apply. Every time you test, you can opt to send your scores to colleges. Signing up to send your scores before taking the test saves you money because you can send them to four colleges for free. If you wait until after the test, there is a fee that varies from year to year for ACT to send your scores to colleges. That's why we recommend that students send their scores during the registration process because it is cheaper. Colleges typically take your highest score. Thinking about sending your scores, um, we do include those test scores on your transcript. However, many colleges require that your scores come directly from the testing company and they will not take them from us even though they are on your transcripts. So it's important to do your research to make sure that colleges will take them if you don't send them on your transcripts. So how can scores help with colleges? Um, we've done a little research on what average ACT scores are for area colleges. Um, for example, an average ACT score for Ohio University is anywhere from a 22 to a 26. So what that means, based on their incoming freshman class from the previous year, most students who are accepted to Ohio University scored between a 22 and a 26. Miami University scores are much higher with a 26 to a 31. Mount St. Joe is a 19 to a 24. And many of our students do apply to Ohio State and they look for students to have anywhere from a 27 to a 31 to determine their admissions. Test optional. Um, due to COVID, many schools have um, allowed students to waive their um, ACT scores for admission purposes. So during the 2021-22 school year, many colleges said we, you, you can apply to our colleges and you can waive your ACT score for admission. We are unsure right now if this same thing will be extended to the class of, for the classes of 22 and 23. Many colleges are undecided about using ACT scores, and we will look for guidance on that as it comes out in the future. Some colleges will still require an ACT score, so that is why we recommend that students take the test at least once. Some colleges do require taking the optional writing portion, which is, which is not included in your March 9th test. So if your college does require a writing portion, you will have to sign up on your own to take the test in the future. 
We recommend that you start doing research about your colleges and make sure that you know what their testing requirements are. So if you decide right now that college is not for, for me, um, colleges is not, if college is not for you, um, going straight from high school to a career is your goal. Taking the SAT should still be a priority for you. Um, many things change from junior to senior year. We find that some students decide junior year, well, I'm not going to college, but then they find different careers or opportunities that come up where college is required. So our recommendation is that every junior takes the ACT, and that way they have a score on file for future reference so that they do change a career path or make a different decision, they will have that score available. This ACT score will still become a part of your transcript and your academic record. If you decide to attend college um, in the future, a good ACT score can help with having to, without having to take a college placement test. You are most prepared for your test during your junior year and senior year, so we recommend to take the test while the information is still fresh. If college is for me, what should I be doing now? Well, we recommend that you visit colleges um, and websites to determine which colleges you'd like to apply to. Try to narrow your list to three to five schools by the end of the summer. Make good grades and track your GPA. Your GPA or grade point average is an important part of your college application. Remember, deadlines come early in your senior year. You should have a good ACT score and GPA established before your senior year begins. Applications to four-year colleges are completed between August and December 1st of your senior year. Now Mrs. Tillo will talk to you about what incentives we're offering for juniors who choose to come in to take the ACT. In years past, we have been able to have lots of really good prizes for students who come in, take the test, work the whole time with appropriate behavior, fill out the my ACT information, do all the things that we would like for you to do during any testing session. So um, you can have the opportunity to receive up to five raffle tickets if you do the following. You're on time for testing. That means you're in your testing room with everything you need by 810. That's one ticket. Um, you work the whole time with appropriate behavior um, for each test. So there's four tests. Um, so that's one ticket per test. So that's up to five. And then if you fill out um, the My ACT information at the end, that is when you're able to get your five tickets. Some of our lovely prizes include um, $25 gift cards to um, these places shown, Amazon, Panera, DoorDash, Taco Bell, and Wendy's. Um, there is a, a Bluetooth waterproof speaker. Get some AirPods. A Nintendo Switch. A 50-inch TV um, with Roku capabilities. So those are some really, really good prizes um, for those students who come in on time, take the time to um, take their testing seriously, and you can be rewarded with some really cool stuff. Um, in the meantime, prior to the test, we recommend that you study and be prepared and familiar with the test. You can visit the ACT website. There are sample questions and test taking tips there. Um, there's a ACT practice packet that you can get from the guidance office if you are interested. It's a full test that you can time yourself and practice. Um, if you have the ACT app, you can get, um, you can do test prep on there. And then other test prep options are available as well. If you are interested, you can reach out to your counselor. You can even follow them on Twitter. 
um, and there's an ACT test prep question every day that you can do. Um, so that's a lot of information about the ACT that you guys will be taking on March 9th. If you have questions, make sure to see your counselor prior to that March 9th test date so we can make sure you're prepared and have everything you need. Thank you for watching our presentation. And again, reach out with any questions. Thank you.